whole and complete. I'm drinking my herbal tea, and I am in the bedroom, so our background is a little changed. I want us to get used to being in the bedroom, and besides that, uh, my bamboo expert, who's actually doing the bamboo cabinets, the uh, <clears throat> Then I was doing some bamboo cabinets in the kitchen, and then there was two cabinets left that have been undone. Well, they are going to be done today, so I'm very excited. And then we're going to talk about, and then we're going to talk about uh, the upper cabinets and having the bamboo put on that one. But I want him to, I want to do something a little different with that. I was telling you I wanted to be on more of a diagonal, uh, the bamboo. So we're going to talk about that. If you hear me. <clears throat> Kind of like I'm coughing. I'm doing an herb, but it's in a powdered form, so it's grinded, grinded, grinded. And so, yeah, it comes down. But it's some fabulous herbs. I wish I could tell you what's in it, but I can't. But I don't know. Um, they're African herbs, and it, it was made by a elder brother named Nana, uh, Nana Enketia. And uh, I love his stuff. I think he is out of the country, though. I got to find out. I'm going to call a friend up and see if he came back because his herbs are worth everything. And I love them so much. I see somebody was asking me what my skincare routine is, and it's pretty kind of simple. I feel like my the good skin or the pretty skin on my skin glows are very clear. Even I feel it. I feel like a lot of times it's definitely what you put outside, and I'll go through that. But it's also what you put inside. And I feel like every time I do a herbal detox or herbal fast, I don't know, an herbal cleanse, that's what I like to say. An herbal cleanse, my skin does this. I have some other herbs that are more some of the American or East or European herbs um, that I had when I was doing the blood pressure, you know, keep my blood pressure down. And those herbs are very nice, but these are just amazing. And I feel like that's one of the things. The other thing I noticed when I work out consistently, consistently is the key, peace and blessings, y'all. Consistency is the key. Um, when I do that, I find that my skin glows and my, my face looks more cleaner and fresher. And I'm doing both. I've been consistent my exercise. This is week, I want to say week four to well I, yeah i'm going yeah week four so next monday we'll start week five so i've been four weeks straight that's pretty good for me y'all i'm happy but you came here for something else we have a haul from a store called malcolm malcolm is a some people call it the african walmart so that's what we're going to call it and Walmart is a super, I would say it's a super store where Ghana shops. It's called Malcolm, where Ghana shops. And they have numerous locations, numerous locations all over Ghana. Now, I hear it is owned by an Indian. I don't think it's owned by um, a Ghanaian. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I hear it's owned by an Indian, so... Let's just, we, I'm sorry, not time out. We're just going to get rid of the uh, trolls right now unless somebody comes on. But, you know, that Afro says we're going to take on it. Maybe one day they'll get tired of coming here and they'll do something else. So we got to pray and hope. Basio is here. Hey, sis, peace to the chat. Basio, if you can, it doesn't bother you too much. If you can get the trolls out, fine. But don't worry, I got them. So we're going to be good. How are you? I hope you're well, perfect, whole, and complete. We had a beautiful class today. Uh, um, the, the What you call the class? It was the second woman class. I just been feeling so good from that class, y'all. And I'm sorry that y'all can't join it. But you can because it's a closed class. But you can join the Sunday Master Class, Changing the Channel, How to Have a Magical and Enchanted Chanting life is really going to be a beautiful, it's going to be ethereal, it's going to be divine feminine, and it's going to be useful. So that's where if you want to work closer to me and get a different kind of vibration, you should come here. But anyway, this is a haul. Um, I went, I got two haul. Another haul is coming, but Ratty is the name of the brother. I always mention his name. He's the one that does my bamboo work. Uh, the gazebo outside and then all the kitchen bamboo work as well. As well as, y'all remember this, as well as this bamboo door. So 
on the top of the kitchen, so we'll go in there and see how, how his progress is, because this is live, so we can do it. So we'll go see how the progress is, but it's beautiful already. Um, but the top kitchen, uh, yeah, I love the bamboo. I want it, but I've done a lot of bamboo here. So I now would like to use this fabric, this material called ala. It's, some say, liken it to like a teak, but it's really not a wood. It's a, it's like a bush. It's like a plant almost. It's like... I can't really explain it, but like as bamboo is not wood, it's not wood, but it acts like wood, looks like wood. It's very pretty, it's a softer one, but you could use it. Like I said, the cheer that I, those cheers, those lounge cheers that I have in the Cape Coast, those are made of ala. There's bamboo in it too, but the whole cheer itself is ala. So it's like a wood. But I just think it'll be something different. It'll be a new element. I believe that each of these, um, I say entities, these natural, materials that we use all have energy and they just like we all I have different energy from my sister has different energy like we all walk with our own aura I believe like the natural materials work walk, walk with their own aura thus come with their own aura thus their own magic and this is why I'm doing a class on house the house and magic that changing the channels about the home we're focusing on the home how to use our home I should say that how to use our home to create magic and, and enchantment. That's what it is. How to use our home base to create magic and enchantment. I should really say that. And so I believe that the different materials have different conversations, have different vibratory energy, and have different things for you. And that you think you're thinking like, oh, I want to do my house. I want a bamboo door or I want an a la chair. You think that it's just you asking, but it really is your higher self bringing to you what you need to manifest the things that you want. That's why you should come to the class. Anyway, let's go with the haul. So like I said, I'm over here because Ratchie is in. This is a short haul. It's not a lot, but I want to. It's, it's, it's good for me. Um, Ratchie is in the other room. And I don't know. He's playing music, so I'm trying not to do the copyright thing. But I also don't want to actually turn up his music because he's working very hard. And you know, we need our music when we work hard. This here, and if y'all want me to sell these... Um, I will because the stores really ever have them. So it would be like a seasonal thing to sell. And, but it's these susu cans. And this one has the euros on it. And it just has a slit on the top. And it's absolutely wonderful. Um, and this is how I have f furnished all of my big purchases down to the land, to these things that I do in the house, to the apartments that I, I, I get. It's been magical. And we're going to talk a lot more about the Susu and the Masterclass. Um, but I love these. They're, they're local ones are nice, but they're a cheaper wood because they're there for you to break. Um, you're going to break them. So, you know, you're going to have to break this one too. But I don't know. Everything has a vibration. Like I said, everything is different. I've saved in many Susu cans. But when, they, when Malcolm has these and they usually just run out right away. They don't get them a lot, but if you want them, I will sell them to you uh, as much as I can get my hands on until the next time that they have them. I have it. I used to go to store, to store, to store, to store. So it's always like amazing when you find them. I tend to like them better than the wooden ones for whatever reason. I don't know. Could be that the euro. I have two, so this one is the one with the euro dollars on it, right? Or well, the euro itself is not a dollar; it's a euro which, you know, yields, you know, has the highest exchange rates that they were worth the most, right? So we got one in the Euro version. It's a little dead, but that's okay. It just does that part from the shipping. Love the end. I already started. I already started to put some funds in there. So that's the Euro one. Now let me show y'all the one with the American dollars, the ones that I usually get. And then we have the one with the American dollar on it, the dollars, and it's 50, 50, but you'll be sending to how much more. That's the United States of America. If you are interested in these, please let me know, and I will make, so you call it, here they simply call them money box, but we would call them, and, and but in Ghana, it's susu, susu, a susu box, or just a, or just a, they say susu. So if you want a susu and you like these, let me know. Okay, I'm on the website. Like I said, it's going to be kind of seasonal when they have them, when I can get my hands on them. But right now, I think I can get my hands on them. So if you are interested in these and find some for your friends and family, this is it. So I got two of these. So 
That's where I'm going. And then I bought honey. They got these cheaper, so I know a, a taller part. This is what you got. You showing us this? Yes. Let me tell you why I'm showing you this brush set. They sell these taller bow um, stands and brush sets all over Ghana, as far as in the smaller places, the local, locally. They're not locally made, and they're not even locally uh, sourced, but they all the ladies sell them. So apparently China, when they make different stuff or things or items, they make it according to the money you have. So a lot of times you can buy a toilet brush and the bowl kind of to hold it, from the local places, but they are, they will break over and over. The bottom piece will break. The brush bristles will come off. So sometimes you gotta go to a Malcolm or something to get a sturdier one that's actually gonna last you. So the only colors they have was black and white. But the theme of my bath, bathroom is blue and white. So quite naturally, I got the blue one. Like I'm telling y'all, I know this thing is like a still plastic. No, honey, it's an actual better clap, a better quality of plastic. So, and it's white. You know, you want your, you know, you want your bathroom to look good. One day I'm going to show you the bathroom. No, I ain't showing the bathroom because I ain't really happy with the bathroom. Um, I want to have a tub carved. I need a carver to do the tub. I want to have a mahogany made tub in there. And I want to repaint tiles. It's most of the wall is tiles, but there's a whole wall on the top that's just, you know, regular wall. I want to paint it again. The color it is white. but I. I want to actually put a whole bunch of Afrocentric, uh, like maybe those wall hangings or masks or something that it feels like, hey, Khadija, something that feels like, thank you to like and share, y'all. Uh, you like to share, thank you. Something that feels like when I'm sitting, you know, on the commode, is that another word for it? Um, it's something visually pleasing and beautiful. That place has to be beautiful. I already... Custom, had a custom made um, over the sink uh, cabinets. I already did that and I painted it blue because the, the tiles are blue and white. I already put a shower curtain traditionally in places like, I know Ghana, when you actually go to, uh, when you go outside the bathrooms, they don't have a lot of separation between the toilet and the shower area. It's just one big room. So you have to kind of demarcate. So I found I had my rods, I bought a rod, but it wasn't long enough from Malcolm, but they have other ones. Malcolm's where you get your rods, your shower curtains, your bath mats, your towels, everything that a Walmart would sell, that kind of vibe, okay? But it's not as big as a Walmart, because Walmarts are big, but there's Malcolm's all over Ghana. Anyway, um, and stuff where if your town is too small, then they don't have it, so Ahoy must be bigger than we think. Um, but... I got the rod, but the rod was too short. And at that point, I needed that curtain up because I had bought the curtain already. And so I used the brackets that I had from my, right here. And I'll, maybe I'll show you the bathroom one day. <laughs> but the brackets that I have, anyway, for the, I could do it better here. The window. And the rod is actually a rod that I had made four years ago. It's made from mahogany wood. And I call it the brackets that the rod sits in. It's also made from mahogany wood, all custom made. So I had lots of those left. So I used the brackets to fill up the space and put the rod on there. And so now I got a shower curtain. I got a shower curtain that separates the toilet area from the bathroom or from the bath where you bathe area. The shower curtain is too short, though. And the reason why it's short is because the bathrooms, mostly most bathrooms are down there, they're almost fully tiled. They're mostly tiled. So that was all I had left. But they can't be between the tile. I kept slipping, so I had to put it on the wall. Anyway, with the short shower curtain, I think I want to have some bamboo, like almost like the bamboo curtains. I'm going to have some or beads, maybe even beads, something that can get wet, attached so that I can hang from the bottom. It's gonna be pretty, I'm gonna show you one day. So that's why. Anyway, I got that. Long story, but what else I got? Oh, normal stuff, normal stuff. Okay, it's not a big haul, but we got other stuff to show you today. I am designing, you know, Manasi made the fabric, and it's beautiful, if you didn't see the video, I have it right here on the channel. Um, thank you, thank you, Maceo. Getting a 
So I am sketching again, y'all. I sketched my apron. I sketched a, la a robe, a lounge, I call it you know, a house robe or a lounge robe, I think is what it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be the robe you put on after the bath, unless yeah, you dry yourself, you could, but it's definitely gonna be a robe to lounge. And I also sketched a lounge uh, outfit for the house. And the pens that I got, these, these pens, sketch pens, they don't have, they don't have um, erasers, so I need erasers, so I bought some. So I'm very happy. I mean, this may look like, oh, wow, no, this is going to be crucial to all of my designs because I'm sketching my designs. I don't want to look at something from the, uh, from like that's already made out there in the internet world and then re-replicate it. No, I got to feel like it's coming from my mind. So I got this, so small haul, but other things to show. And then the last thing that I got from Malcolm, just to give you an idea of the different things, Malcolm sells the detergent. Malcolm sells the this is my favorite, I know. It's not natural. Um, I've, I've one time in Accra, uh, it was in a place called Mahogany. It's a vegan restaurant in Accra. And it used to be a bigger store, had a bigger space. And they would get products from South Africa mostly. And they had, they had natural dishwasher liquid. It was expensive, but it was worth it. And I would buy it. I even bought one for my, my Ghanaian family. And he was like, where did you get this? And I didn't even, I told them, y'all don't want to know how much it is because they asked and how they laughed because they got it. But it was so great. But I don't, I, they don't have it anymore. They don't even have the space to carry it. And I don't know if a lot of people was buying it. So I, that's the hardest thing for me to get is natural dishwashing liquid. But as a non-natural one, I love this brand. Uh, it's called Sunlight. I, I don't know. I like it. It cleans well. It doesn't leave as much residue. And I like it. So I bought two. Cause why buy one and have two? So that is my small haul. But let me show you some of the things that I'm going to go in the kitchen. But also, let me make sure I take that blue thing off right away. But also, we're going to look at, if y'all remember, I told y'all that. So, you know, I mean, most, I mean, the whole house is really kind of mine as far as like the decoratively, the way it's styled, I've done it, right? Or it's my ideas. So, but Manasi, as we laugh, because the men seem like they don't have their own space in the house. So I said, okay, you got a space. And let me show you his space. And he made it work and I love it. So let me show you. So he had a great idea because it was driving me absolutely nuts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. It was driving me absolutely nuts when I walked by his little corner and it looked a lot of it. It had, he had all of his, he had his stuff in bags, his clothes, and it was hard for him to get it. So it was just kind of getting messy. I don't really like nothing else on the floor. Plus, I kind of wanted to use the space to nerve me, but I, I don't. I, I'm not going to do that. I let him do it. So he said, so I had, just so we can get a whole full picture, I had this beautiful, beautiful bookshelf that I had him using for the clothes, but it wasn't working. It was awkward. I could tell he didn't like to use it. It wasn't, it wasn't his feel, right? So he said, why don't I? Why don't I build shelves, have shelves put in here? I mean, have the carpenter build some shelves and then I could put all my stuff on the shelf and I said, great idea. So I know it looks like a messy, but everything really is folded and it's his space and I'm just so happy about his space. We're gonna have a couple of things we gotta do. Oh, one more thing on the haul I can show y'all. But that one, you not only today are you gonna see one of the another haul items that I got from, not Malcolm, but from the local market, but we're gonna also put it in place. So we're going to do a refresh in the corner, and I'm going to show you that. So stay tuned for all of that on this video. It's coming. But I absolutely love it. It's not done, 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 but at least his stuff is off the floor. Look, my laundry basket is going. He don't know it's there. Before he come home, I'm going to take it out because I don't want him to feel like I just keep doing it. But it actually is not a bad place, too, because his stuff going here, too. So because the laundry basket usually is holding this door open. But the door doesn't need to be open. And we're going to get to these doors, too. They are going to be done in a beautiful way. But if you take that, that laundry basket and what I'm going to do with the floor, I'll tell you. I absolutely love it. He has all his stuff up. He can see it. 
He, he put nails in there so his, his uh, hats could be up there. And I'm very, very happy. Next step, he wants to paint it red, gold, and green. All of the uh, actual shelves themselves are going to be painted in the whole red on the top half, including, including the shelf, yellow on the second from the wall, back, the side, the back, the front, yellow, and then from the bottom, green, and then on the very bottom, black. And then we're going to put a bulgy mat. We just call a bulgy mat, but we call it a bulgy mat because or we can just call it a mat, and I'll show you that's going to be red, gold, and green, or black on the floor. But at least, y'all, his stuff is off the floor. It's out of the bags. The shelves are dope. I love them. And, of course, for me, because no one's going to keep it neat all the time, not even me. So we're going to get a curtain, just like I did in a Cape Coast apartment, if you notice that. We're gonna have, I got plenty of rods. This is the rods not in here, but this is the bracket. I got plenty left. Carpenter come, push that up. He's going to make out of his fabric uh, two curtains, and now it, it'll be beautiful. He wants to do with the logo in the middle. It, our logo is Afro Kush Clothing, and it's going to be the logo, and it'll be clothes. He can feel like he got his own space. It'll be all painted and beautiful. And then, of course, we'll put Kwame and Krumah back somewhere on the wall, and it'll be gorgeous. So very, very happy about that. Let me take my tea. Now, I'm going to tell you about these herbal teas. They make you sweat. That's the whole point because they're detoxifying teas. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm going to set you up. The other thing that I bought that I've been telling y'all I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy, and I've never, I mean, I think I've been staying since the whole year and three months that I've been here that I was going to buy this mat. So now you got to finally see the mats. So let me show y'all. And then we're going to focus on this corner over here. I changed the outfit of the of Ebony. Usually I had her in yellow, but I put her in the G I mean batik dress. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tell you about this mat. I gotta see it, so I'm gonna show y'all. This is the mat. They have them every color. They have them in different sizes. Oh, that's outfit of the day is the uh, uh, this is the Akan Kente. They got, I got an Edward Kente one, but this is their Con Kente. Has the pocket. And it's part of the lounge bed. I wore it outside. I wore it outside. I wore it outside. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it gorgeous? This, if you wear this, you really, they really don't respect you. They're going to be like, look at how they're in our clothes. Like, they love it. This is their Con Kente. It's all from Africa. And it's absolutely beautiful. I think, I don't know base here if I ever sold you one. I know I sold a few ladies bought some. Wonderful for lounge but it's not just lounge Some ladies ship their stuff and they wear it with high heels, with heels. Most of them wear it for sandals. People wear it for weddings and special occasions. They wear it for, uh, I forgot, Friday wear. Friday wear is an initiative to get the Africans at least on Friday to wear customary clothes. A lot of people wear it like this. Uh, it's considered a sign of wealth. And abundance and culture, and it is called, um, they call it a batakari or a batakari, a batakari. And the men wear it too, but they, sometimes they're a little shorter, they can have sleeves. But this is, I saw this one from love, and I've had it all the four years I am here. You have to have somebody that you can trust that can wash to wash it, but it is, it makes you feel just so. I don't even know how to explain it. Just so happy. Uh, it's been a long time. You look amazing. Still blessed to you. Hey, Khadija, thank you. Basically, I love it and definitely need one. Yes, Trini, let me know because I thought I got one, but no, that was years ago. The sister, when I first wore this, I was showing you. You've got to have one. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it wonderful? So, you know what happened? How I got it? Because Manasi's stuff, y'all, is all his kente. His kente kente, you know, his it was all in my space, which was the wardrobe. So when he took, he said, oh, I can take my stuff now because he got Shelby. Do you see what I'll be doing? He said, I can take my stuff now because I got Shelby. And it left me all, I, I got to see my closet. I got another Kente skirt that I got made with a top I forgot about. Now I can wear it because I see it. But anyway, thank you for that. So this, oh, let me show you. This is the mats. They come in different sizes, different colors, different patterns. 
They call it Abouji, because Abouji, I don't know, that's just the name they call the Muslims. The Muslims, they're like the Muslims, that's the name for the Muslims. I'm not sure what it means or what it translates to, but Abouji. So they call it Abouji mat because it's the Muslims that actually sell this. Now, I heard they come from Togo or Ivory Coast. If you notice, it's, it's, it's basically almost the same stuff that if the chair, remember this chair? Well, I mean, I can get it. The little small red, yellow and gold chair right there. So I've seen them if they come from Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire uh, or Togo. Either way, they sell plenty of them right here in Ghana. And what I noticed, now I can see why they call the Boji mats, because the Boji sell them. But if you see this, this is a mask, a mask. I said, oh wait, that's a mask. And I asked them, I said, I said, oh Manasti, do they, um, do they, do they pray on these? And he said, let me ask one. He asked one of the Muslims. He said, yes. And I said, do you pray on these? Because you know they pray five times a day. And he said, they absolutely do. And I love it. And it's, it's local and it's handmade. If y'all love it. I mean, when I say every color pattern, bigger sizes, smaller sizes, depending on where you want to put it. And I finally got one. So we're going to get one from the Nazis area. And also, we're going to get one from here to see it. You see, this area, this one fits perfectly. And then I just need one right here. Because I don't want none of this, I don't like the floor showing. Okay, but what we're going to do right now, what we're going to do right now, that's so pretty. And the fact that it's a kind of prayer rug too, that makes it even better, right? So let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to move, so you're going to be with me on moving. Thank you, Khadija. Okay, that is the coin. You see that floor? You know, no, I don't like the floor. And I like those pops of color. We use them. We're already using the mats that they sleep on times. I mean, when they do, uh, that, that's what they're for. They're sleeping mats. But I use, or they use it to, to keep the shade away. I mean, to give them shade in their shops so the sun won't come through. So they use it as like a wall. Hey, Regal Nay, the dress you are wearing is beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. If you are interested in the Batakaris, y'all let me know, and I will make sure I get it for you. So we're going to move everything in this space. This is the beautiful work of the Nasty Morphe. And it's in the collar wash, so we're going to take the collar wash. We're going to move everything. So let me make sure. Can y'all see me moving everything? Yeah, can. Now I have an Elway uh, Batakari too, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that tomorrow so you can see it, but absolutely love this one. Okay, so this is gonna have to go too. So I chose a mat that had the colors that complement the room. And once I put it down, you'll see, you know I got a lot of reds, I got a lot of yellow, right? So I think this will go great. It doesn't have to match, it just has to go. So all I'm gonna do is real simple, is put it on the ground. And of course it fits perfectly. And I can either keep this side, but I think because these are kind of slippery, I'm gonna take it and put it underneath the mat. So now we fill the space. I mean, I like it out too. I like it out too, but let's go get the right one like that. I just don't want to be slipping on it. That's my only thing. Let me go look at this. It's so pretty, like why? 
Now, I just know if I will or will not, but I'm just going to go. I got enough things to the floor. Of course, I don't even know if you have a seat on the floor. Wait a second. Can you even see it on the ground? Oh, yeah, you can. Yes, yeah, beautiful. So that's it. You can put it across. You can put it somewhere else. It goes so nice against that wall, too. It's such a pretty, pretty thing. But it'll be easy to put it underneath if I find it. I have to do that. So just something simple, something nice. I mean, you could do so many things with it. I mean, they got longer ones. They got wider ones. This one, I got, believe it or not, I got this one, this rug. I got this from, hey, Ronay. I got, thank you, perfect fit, isn't it, Khadija? I got this long rug, this orange one from Malcolm, believe it or not. And I realized that it was a prayer kind of rug, too. Malcolm caters to Ghana. As they said, it's Ghana's Walmart. It's where Ghana shops. That's their logo, Malcolm, where Ghana shops. So they're going to have the Susu can, but they're going to have, of course, another way. They're going to have the mats, not these. They don't sell these. These are local. You find them in locally stores that's around. Or they, but it's funny that they had this mat, the one I showed you, the prayer mat. I'm assuming that that's really what it is. And it's, a, it's a version of a prayer mat or it's just a straight prayer mat. But I got it in a Malcolm and a Crab because, and like I said, every, most, a lot of towns don't have a Malcolm because you know, the people wouldn't buy from them because it's kind of, you know, it's not, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, you know, normal expensive. And um, so you got to go to different ones. And even if you go to Accra, you go to different ones in different neighborhoods like East Lake Gone or some of the higher in the neighborhoods, they'll have different things in those Malcolms. They'll sell plants when they want to sell plants everywhere else. But we only have one Malcolm here, thank goodness, because some places don't. And, you know, they have what they have. So the one, the one Malcolm in um, Accra, I actually, I actually bought some uh, original arts, like, it's amazing the different things, but this is not from Malcolm. This is local, local, local. And they got them in every color, every so so. So if it wasn't just covering this, I would I would even lay it another way, put it another way. And I put it this way. I wish I yeah, but I want it this way because everything else is gonna be on top. And it's just an accent for me too. And this intake for those who new, this end table. I designed it. It's based on a drum called Toto, Tofo from drums. And uh, I love the drum so much that I said, ooh, I would love to have that similar drum style, but in an end table and made of cane. And I had them do it. I, I told the cane, the drum, they knew the drum. They did it. And then I said, I went bold because I never use black in my decor. And I said, I want to paint it black. Instead of this cane color, that's what it would have been, I went for the black. Here, these are calabash stands. I can't see y'all see me, so these are calabash stands and it literally holds your calabashes because the way they're, they're, they're situated or made, they will kind of flop. So let me just make sure y'all can see that pretty good. Yeah, so we're gonna put, but I have so many extra ones, so I just piled them up. I said, well, how am I gonna use them since, I don't know how I, I have so many left. Because I, I, I had two calabashes, that I was mailing out to one of my customers and they didn't make it because they didn't pack it right. So that's probably where two came from. But anyway, I have seven. So this another thing. This was a normal calabash and the stands were part of the calabash. But um, I uh, I decided to make the calabashes into lamps. And that's why this off. You know, just put that right there. I said, well, I'm going to make the calabash into a lamp. And that's what I did. I took it to the calabash man, and he did it for me. And I told him I wanted an aquarium, and he made it happen. And it was actually, this was part of a two. And the other one's over there. So we're going to put that back. So it has different, the fish are different. Look, we've got the black and white fish. And it lights up and everything. You have the blue fish. We have the other blue fish. So since I put on the black and white a lot, I don't know why I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put on the black and white. Too. So we're going to put that back. So for a while, uh, 
the lamp was the working. It wasn't that it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't working because we needed some wires to be changed. I'm gonna fix that a little, make sure it's not leaning to the side. It needed some wires to be changed. And Manasi went to school for this. So we wound up changing the wires and now the, the lamp is working perfectly. But before, when it wasn't working, I decided to use it as a vase. So that's what I switched it up to sell using as a vase. And so, in order to, and I've had these, I forget what people tell me, I think this is just dry, like the weeds. The dry weeds and then the color. So this is all natural. And so I bought these, uh, I told Kwame stuff to him I was looking for, he said, oh, we got something like that. And he called the man and the man came. The man came to the art center, so he doesn't sell it, but I said, he came and I got to buy it. I was so happy. We got that back. Now we got to put, oh no. Oh no, that's right. So these white tables. Um, let me put this on. Let me put the system back first. Let me put Ebony back first. But we know I use Ebony. So she got an angle. So we got Ebony. Ebony looking so beautiful. That, I designed that dress too. That was my first dress I ever designed. My first one. And it's Batik. I didn't design the fabric. I just bought the fabric, but I had somebody make it. And I was inspired by Goddess. And you know what? Because of that blue dress, let's, let's change it around and see if I can do it out. Let's do the blue. So now I'm going to take it out and put it in again. Because of the dress, let's highlight that blue. Very pretty. Very pretty. And then we'll put this back. I see the wire. That's why. Yeah, I worked on the whole thing. Maybe I should just tell the whole thing. I don't know. Because you don't really want the wire showing. And that's why the. Oh, now I don't know why I do the black and white one on the side. Okay. Because I don't really want the wire to show. But I think I can still do it. So let me see the other one. Yeah, it's going to show. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll think about the why and then I'll mess it up. You know what? The why is going to show because we want the blue. And I'll fix that later because now I got to do this. Every time I change it, they get, they get all mixed up. So then I got to change it back. I'll fix that. We'll keep it. But I'll fix it too. Yeah, because that looking sorry. We're going to do that again, y'all. We're going to do this part again. Because remember, there's a light, the light bulb, all of that is in there. So it's not like it's just straight and I'm putting it in. Because if it was just straight, they would go in and just fall, you know, fall in the right place. But I got to go around. All kinds of stuff. And then I change the position. So that's why. Okay, that makes sense. But you know what? This is this is decorating. This is it's not like on YouTube with all the editing that it just looks like they took a long time to get it to look exactly the way they want. And that's the beauty of it. That's the, to me, that's the fun part. It's making it work. Without 
that it to me. Okay, now we're going to take this, this sheet of table. My table is wonderful. It's a fold-up table. And if you notice, you see I'm gonna, I got the, the collar bar stand on the table. Now here is a beautiful, gorgeous collar bar itself. And I, this is the G I mean, but it has it has all the symbols. It has the G I mean, it has the hope symbol, and it has it has other symbols, but I mean the, the thing was that it has the same Kofa. Let's do the same Kofa today. So we have the same Kofa. Same Kofa. And that is our little thing. Like I said, I might put it inside. I might put it outside, but that other thing is covered, so that's what we really wanted. And I love it. And I think that is it. Oh, let's see what let's see how Ratty is doing. So hold on for that. Okay. So this give you the perspective of the room itself. Like I said, I think it looks gonna look better going this just, just a little feeling. If it was like this, then it would look nice going this way. Have them this long, but they usually come wide. I don't know if they have them this long, but more but in this width. I have to look because they're gorgeous and they're absolutely wonderful and I love them. They store these two. All mats they are for sleeping. But I think I'm really gonna put the bigger mat and the rest of it underneath. I think I'm gonna like that way better than that just kind of hanging out. But I'm so glad it's covered. And that's my first one of those I ever had. So I've always wanted one and I finally got it. So we have our couch. Now we got our blue, blue. We got my girl. We got my Najia um, fabric cloth and my Molly mud cloth. We got, so this one was on top of the other one. So this was the, this the starfish. And that was the other fish. And then they were connected, but it broke. But luckily, he wired it so that this one has a light, and that one does too. So I was able to have two, two, uh, or longer. The longer would be nice too. That would be absolutely great too. That was a great one, yes. Or maybe I'll get two. I think they're a little slippery though, because they usually roll them out to sleep on them, or they, they roll them out to sleep on them, or they use it as a door hanging to block the sun. So that's why I, I'm cautious with them too, because of the slipperiness. So I think I'm just gonna put it inside and leave it on that level. I think I'll be good. Um, but I tell you these lights work. I think you'll still my light show, so you know they actually work. And um, fill the collar box with beautiful stuff. This is all the fabric that Manasi made. And this is, uh, I'm going to make everything you can think of out of this one. And this is the clothes that Monashi, Nasi, beautiful tie-dye that he just did. Some of them are sold already and some are not. And I don't know which ones are not, so I will show y'all. But uh, I love that I added the wall hangings. These are the, some of the paintings that we were selling. I'm going to find another place for that because, you know, it's messing with my decor. But um, it can't be set on the floor unless, I think I'm going to get a case for it. It'll be fine. But I want to do more wall hangers. I got lots more, and I love the wall hangers. They are for sale. They're twenty dollars for each wall hanging, and I got plenty. I keep them down there, but they're gorgeous. I might even do the wall hangings and then the drums that can go on the wall. Once I show you, maybe you'll be interested in purchasing them. But they're wonderful additions to the home. And then my basket and other chair. Bradley sit on the other chair, but just showing you the perspective of. You know, just the colors chosen. And then with them, this is a whole yellow wall, too, which is about to be really nice. But let me sneak in here and show you what Ratsy is doing. Oh, Ratsy, it's beautiful. Wow, you're done with that one, huh? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's good. Yeah, one, one a day is enough. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow's a great. Tomorrow's good. What you thinking, Ratsy? Ratsy, can you turn that down for a second? Because people are listening. And then I can hear you too better. Okay. Compared to the Allah. Yeah. By uh, this thing. 
palm, the palm branches compared to the other. The palm branches, you see the back. Yes, right talk to me. I'm liking this already. Okay. Right. Oh, that's palm? When you, when you turn it, the back. Yes, that's right. The back of the palm, right? The, the piece take, that's in between. Yeah. Okay. You can take it off. Yes. This to the edge. And yes. You can trim it straightly. That's right. And use it, fix it. That's pretty. On the I love it. Do we small. have to treat it? You think? You're yeah. still going to have to treat it for sure, right? So it will not go by. Because it's, it's, it's been out here. Yeah. It seems like it always. It that, that's back. a good it point. Go they don't like that. But that's still, right. But still, you can still yeah. treat it. Yeah. So that's my suggestion. I, I love your suggestion. Okay. Let's do that. Because then all you have to do is just gather the palm. Okay. Right? That'll be it. Yeah. I love that suggestion. Because yeah. I gotta do something different. Because we've done the we done the uh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. And then Ratty, that's, that's excellent. I, I think it's a great idea and it's new. That's why I like you, Ratty, because yeah. I know you're gonna think of something great. So that's my next this thing. So I have to introduce it to you. Yes. You see the back of it, not here. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking so about. You can take so many I but love it. it. Take the back off. That would be beautiful. I'm so I'm down for this. Yes. Nice. Let's do that. And right to you know eventually I, we want to I want to drop all of this and we do it again. Cuz you know what they did? Look what they did. The, the animals ate the, the coconut. You see this and this one? They're eating it. Oh. This. That's why it's falling. The coconut the coconut fence this right here. Yeah. And the but one in back of you. By the top there we cannot remove it again because of the head, it will just drop by itself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we, you think the bamboo is sturdy enough that's still gonna keep this held up? We okay? Okay. But what is your idea no, for the that? Ones that uh -huh. are strong, we will remove them. Okay. Plant another one. Okay, that's good. Support this that's good. That's simple. Yeah. So Barazzi, what do you think about this that they're eating? The coconut. coconut. The coconut fence. What yeah. do we do? Should we take this out eventually and just do bamboo? Or something, what do you think? Or because look, it's falling apart because it got after a while and holes. And what do you think about that? Just think do on it for mm -hmm. do, you, do you suggest or you, you suggest you need something to cover the space? I love the covering of the space, I gotta have it because I like the privacy. You, you will think of it, if you yeah. Know, let you know. Okay, you let me know. Yeah. But I love the idea of the palm branch yeah. for the uh, for I was thinking about it. yeah. yeah. That's dope. That's excellent. And it's unique. It's different. And it's, you know, because we did the, we did the uh, bamboos a lot. So, and try something new. And I know you'll do so much with the palm. You'll make the brooms with the palm. You'll make the baskets with the palm, the seeds with the palm. So we know we can do it. Yeah, you got to try. Let's try. I'm, I'm not here for it. I like the experiments. So, yay. That's wonderful. Okay, but you're going for the day. Yeah. So I will see you tomorrow. And don't worry, I can uh, sweep everything up. Ooh, okay, I appreciate it. But let me just show them the finish. The fin so he finished this. Look how gorgeous it is. And then this. Oh, but you know what, Ratchi, I wanted to tell you. I think, Ratchi, how do we get the handles on here? Or can we? Is it something that I should do? I should have did before? Yeah. Because these you can work around. That's the only way? Yeah. Is there anything else we could put on to, to open and close it? Right. So like a, just, because oh, a nail can easily go in there. But what about this? What, I like this idea. What if we put a nail, a nail, one, on, one, one nail, one nail, and then somehow take a piece of bamboo, a thicker one, to cross. To cross. Yes. There you go. That would be, ooh, right? Because the nail can't go in. You just gave me that idea. And we can, you know, put it somehow. Then we, nail. Do a new, uh, bamboo handle. then we have bamboo handles. And that would be beautiful, unique, and it goes. Let's do that. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to use a thicker. I guess we'll use the thicker bamboo, huh? That's it. That's it. We might even, no, we don't. I don't know if we have any more, but. Yeah, I miss on this thing, but. You need the broom, yeah, where is the broom? Where is the broom? Let me find it for you. Yes, y'all. That is what I tell you why Ratsy is the person that do it because he be thinking, okay? Don't y'all love it? We're gonna do the palm branch on the child.
tell me I'm not ready. Here you go. And then the collector is right here. I learned that word. You ever call it the collector? Yeah, we say the dustpan. So that was a nice new word for me. Yay, thank you. All right, y'all. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm ready for it, y'all. I need newness. Like, as much as I love the bamboo, but let's just say, your girl has really used the bamboo. Nobody can say. And I know, I'm right, you want to do something different, too. You know what I'm saying? We want to do something different. So, let's do the palm branch. That's like, that thing is sturdy. Even when the palm leaves dry, the branch stays the exact the same. He's right. Because I threw a whole some dry branches away yesterday. I think this is going to be magnificent. Yes, I agree with you. Just beautiful. Thank you. I like everything in that room, especially that green bookcase. That green bookcase, Ronay, when I first got that, that was, if y'all remember the first apartment I had in Accra, and it was a lot, the place, the neighborhood was called Alajo. And I was doing that Ghana kitchen. Remember, it was the flag, right? I, I did the, I took, child, I, uh, I had them strip, they had like this uh, t a contact paper that looked like wood and I made them take that off. Then they had to sand the cap on the cabinets and I had to sand it. I also wanted open face. So I didn't take off all the doors because they told me that the dust was infected stuff and it did and I learned that here. Now I'm around to putting doors on here. But anyway, I had to take off some, they sanded it and then I had them um, painted red. So the cabinet was red. Then there was the down cabinets underneath the countertop that I didn't have to build, it was there. And I had the same thing, had some cheap contact paper, we took it off, we sanded it, they sanded it, and it was red, yellow, and green. I painted, I got red paint, I got yellow paint, I got green paint. And then in the middle of it, I had them print some stars. And that's how I had it, and it was so dope, right? So now there was this wall, and I needed something on that wall. And that is how that came right from there. I said, wait a second, I got an idea. And I sketched it to, for the carpenter and I showed them everything that I wanted. The, I got the sketch for it and I knew Kwame could carve. I said, Kwame, you're gonna carve. So that's mahogany wood. And I said, Kwame, you're gonna carve it and we're gonna use the same three so it can still catch with the other, uh, the armoire and we use the G. I mean, I'll show you, no, no, I'm sorry, we changed it up. Because at that point, I had discovered this beautiful symbol called Juafe, D-U-A-F-E. The D and U sound, every time you see that, the name word is Ju. So Juafe, which is, means beauty. It represents the comb, and the Juafe is beauty. This one is Jiyami, and then I am Juafe again. And so Kwame carved, I said exactly, because I wanted it to be a display cabinet. And that's the only thing I was thinking, putting in my statues. This is my, was my thought. And I'm so glad. And then, of course, I wanted it green. So it got green because the kitchen was the Ghana kitchen. Remember, the kitchen was the Ghana kitchen. So I needed red, yellow, and green. So I had to have that green. And this is how the, the refrigerator got yellow. <laughs> the refrigerator got yellow because it was the Ghana kitchen, right? So I needed, it only had three colors it could be. It could be red, it could be yellow. So once the, I had that green cabinet or green shelving, I was like, hmm, we don't want green on top of green because they're so close together. Let's make the refrigerator yellow. Let's make the refrigerator yellow, put the cabinet green. Let's make the, the overhead cabinets red and make the shelving look as green. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. So then, remember, I knew that I needed, I needed um, trash. I needed a trash can, and that was it. But I would put a trash bag in there with the red, black, green, and gold. And then this one was the recycling with the red, yellow, and green, the black. That's the guy. And then, of course, I had I wanted stuff on top of the cabinets. And so a lot of this came from that, and that's where I came. I know it's a long story, but I think that. I feel like, uh, oh, you thank you, be back. Yes, darling, yes, yes. I think that that's what your house supposed to be. It's supposed to be stories. This is how this started. This is what the inspiration was. This is what the, you know, and that, ca I love that green cabinet. And you know what, it's, it's funny. I, the kitchen was nice in the old house. 
I don't even know. I had this in the pantry in my second apartment in Accra, in Tetegu. And this one, uh, that's where I had it. And now this house is, it was in where Manasi's space is. And nobody was sitting in there. You know the place I love it the most? I love it right where it is. I love it. It, it was like this living room, in my opinion. It was like this living room needed that there. It's now, so I spend my books, my drums, my statues. And like I said, I'm going to do a whole, I'm going to do a whole gallery wall with just the wall hanging. And I think that is just going to bring it to life. But I absolutely, I love it here the best. I love it there the best. I, I absolutely do. Change your stuff around, ladies. It's fun. I'll tell you, this tea will make you sweat. I will take out all the mucus. I'm doing a seven day run. I think I had a on Sunday. It's a little bitter, but it's not the worst. And I love it. And then I'm going to make some lemongrass tea that is fresh. Honey, I got a fresh here. And I'm going to eat some mangoes that we got. A friend has a farm here. And he sent us from Texas to the station. He sent us a big old thing. Heavy, can't hardly carry it of mangoes, the small mangoes that's in season in, in uh, the Hohoi right now. So, a good life. But there's something else coming. After Ratsy does, um, after Ratsy does the cabinets, um, I got some, I want somebody to make a butcher block table so we can do our, our cooking videos. And you're gonna have the sunlight on me in the kitchen. And I, mean, I got a whole space now. But I'm looking at this, let me show you, because I don't really think it's something. Originally, this table, it's interesting that I'm looking at it now. This table was created because the kitchen in the lodge, I had to get a little table, but it was, a, it was I think it was smaller than this kitchen. And I needed a small table, so I had that custom. And then I used this chair and the little chair, the other one, the matching chair, and had that, and that was my little sitting area. And it would look really, I could see how that could look pretty. Take this up from here and put it over here. The only thing is the refrigerator and the chair over there. You can't open it well. Um, so it, it's okay. I don't technically really, to be honest, I don't eat at a table. Uh, that's why this one became my, this has always been my desk, but I don't eat at a table. I eat, I know, it's weird. I eat out of a bowl. But I sit in the chair with the table, but the bowl never really hit the table or the plate. I just kind of eat it out of my hand. Um, I really eat at the table. I really eat at the table. But I eat, I sit down while I eat. I still eat at the table. So all my attempts to have a dining room table and even a dining room, it never worked for me. So I, I stopped doing it. But uh, so that's why I want the butcher block. Butcher block, it's like a high table. So I can put all my, we can cook on it. I want. I do still want maybe some chairs, but I want the chairs to be able to fit inside. And I saw the idea that I want the, I want to have the table have an extension to the butcher block, and then it can stand up so I have more room. I can put the stove, the hot plate to make the hot plate meals, and I can use it for chopping. I saw it in my head first, and then I watched this some home show or one of the home worthy, whatever it was. I don't remember which one. And somebody had the exact thing I had in my head, and I thought, wow. I would have built this. That's the in the kitchen, and then the paint the kitchen back to the main. I love the mango color. The only other color, if I wasn't going to do mango, would be yellow for the kitchen. But because I have the yellow refrigerator, I don't want yellow and yellow like that. I, I want mango. I love the mango. The mango is the color you see here, and that's why I love it. So we're gonna just paint it mango again. And once I get that butcher block table situation. Because I want to use them all for cooking and doing, you know, hauls, not hauls, but, you know, making stuff, okay? Once I do that, um, I'm going to, what I'm going to say, once I do that, I'm going to, I feel like the kitchen's going to be done. I mean, I already tiled the floors. There was no sink or, or countertops. There was no cabinets. There was no window. There was no door. It was a doorway. Um, um, I, I, did, I, did I build the kitchen? I build a kitchen, y'all. Yeah, okay, what you talking? I didn't build a kitchen, but I finally did. I sink. You know, they say everything but the kitchen sink. I mean, I actually put the kitchen sink in. 
So that's always fun. Thank you. Thumbs up and subscribe. Sit like a queen. I can see me now. That's right. Good looking out, Basio. Now, Basio's getting them. Thank you, Basio. Thank you. So glad to be back. You know, I do remember. That's when I fell in love. Yes, you remember, huh? Uh, I like, yeah. Yes. Just beautiful. So cozy looking. Very nice. Yeah. They got long. I'm going to show you all those mats. You're going to fall in love with the colors, the sizes. The variety here is not as much because, you know, they probably be getting from a cry. You know, cry. Cries, you want everything, you go there. But um, I don't really be going out cry like that because you scrolled in for one weekend and you could have you could have remodeled some more stuff. You could have had some custom stuff made for that one weekend little trip. So I'd be thinking about my money like that. And, uh, yeah. But hope you enjoyed the small haul. Tune in tomorrow because I went shopping too for food. And I want to show you the foods I got, the fruits. Y'all, I just got to tell you this. So I was going to the market in Manasi. And because this is everybody's farm is here, and basically we live in the farm area, um, the women will come out of the bush and they will be carrying, you know, their, their food. My sister came out with the local bananas. She had local avocados and she had local pawpaw. And I didn't get to buy the avocado. I bought it from the market. But I bought 20 CDs, which is like $2, of uh, bananas that you wouldn't believe how many. And I got the pawpaw, which is the papaya. And they were five CDs. So that's not even 50 cents. They like 40 cents a piece. And I, that that's why I live here. Like, that is the thing that does it for me, that if I didn't really want to go to the market all the way, all the way, it's not that far, but it is cool, you know, take a taxi or a motor, just wait long enough, they'll come out the bush, or they set up on the corners, or the junctions, they call it, and you can find, you can get some food, so I'm feeling very grateful, feeling very happy, I'm going to go, after this, I'm going to take a few minutes, and then I'm going to be on my next channel, which is High Elevation Channel. So join me over there, maybe about 30 minutes or so. And uh, let's let's go for the next thing that we want to do. Let's do the palm on the cabinet. Yes. And if Ratsy's good, so if he does it and it look good, now he can offer that to some of his other clients and customers. Because he knows me. He knows I'm going to say yes. Honey, because he know I was thinking like, okay, I take the bamboo. I love the bamboo. But what's next? Let me show you one more thing that I would like to do something special with because I feel like they're not, they just so ordinary and not looking good. This door and the bedroom door. I mean, the bedroom door, it's the other side of it. This side is rugged and rough, but I can dig it. It's the other side I don't like. And I know people will say paint it. I don't want it painted because it's going to be oil paint and it's going to hold a lot of heat in the house. That's the only place so I don't want to paint it. But I wouldn't mind doing some other type of, not maybe bamboo, maybe the palm, we'll see how it works. Maybe something, maybe a la, but I'm working on this. Just know that it's coming. So there we go. Thanks for the likes. Yes, thank you, Renee, for getting it up too. Thank you, Basil. Thank you, everybody, for your comments. Thank you to everyone. Um, again, it came to me that since I'm not building a house yet, I mean, you got, you're not going to start building a house in the rainy season, so that's out. That's going to be a, some months now, maybe half a year. I don't know how long it is. I think I'm thinking it's a half and half. So, and then it's going to still take a couple of years, I'm thinking, to build it the way that I need it to be built. So I'm going to be here for like two more years. At least two more years could be three more, four more. You know how building go and then it don't go the way you want it to go and it take longer. So I'm going to make it the way I want it to be. And I couldn't stop anyway because... I'm a creator. So anyway, I love y'all. I want to thank you so much. Thank you, Basio. If you want, if you want to join classes, I'm going to be adding all my home decor, home gear, home wear and gear, all on the website again. Because right now we don't have a lot. But let me see. All right, Rati. So, um, Echo, Echo Medekuku. All right. Okay. I'm trying to learn, y'all. They be helping me every step of the way. So, so yes, y'all. So, I'm going to get in this kitchen. Um, you know what? I know it's a long video, but let's just do the haul now because I got to take out the stuff. Let's do the haul now. My group was, was uh, they had the opportunity to see me at the market. I know y'all want those. I'm going to give you those. I'm going to give y'all at the market 
Y'all haven't gone to the Hohoi market with me. I don't do enough market ones. I told you why. In the beginning, especially in Accra, the women don't actually like you taking pictures, filming them, or anything. But here, because they know me, they are much more comfortable and they even are kind of excited to be on camera. So it worked out. That's what I say it worked out. So let's do a little bit of a haul. And uh, this bag. these are the um, school bags. I'm going to put it away, but let's do the haul. So I don't know if I have enough, but this is the mangoes. But it was it was filled it was bigger and more than even this and we got to make juice out of them because they're gonna you see how they got the black they starting to turn but it was bigger it was even more it was filled up to the top and it's heavy so free that's part of the haul let's do the other part of the haul so the other one I got from this mango is Huge. You see this freaking mango? Do you see this mango? Do you see this mango? Oh my god, it's so it's so good. It's so sweet. So mango, it's what one. Ten CDs, which is they just coming into season. So that would be um it's not a dollar. Wow. It's considered expensive, actually. It's about it's not a dollar. It's about 70, 60 or 70 cents a piece. And that here, especially in the country, is considered a lot. We want them to come more into season, and it'll be like, even for that big one, it'll be five CDs. And that's what we're looking for. These are apples. They come from South Africa. They're important and they're expensive. So it was I had one of the six apples, 60 CDs, very, very expensive. It was 50 before, but every time the dollar goes up, it goes, it gets more expensive here. So, CDs. Oh, that's such a lot of things about that. That's a lot. I can't believe I paid it. Um, let me just see. I think for these six, I don't know how much. He said it was twenty dollars. No, it's twenty would be no, so I'm big. Okay, maybe it's not that much, but it is a lot for us. If it's sixty CDs, the thirteen is one. Let me do it, y'all. So thirty. Forty six. Okay, maybe the whole thing was like six dollars. Six dollars for six which that's not a lot to y'all, that's like one dollar for one. But here, this is considered expensive. That's why you gotta call. All right, so six dollars. I'm gonna put everything pretty. I'm trying to give you a lighting. That's why, then we'll put everything away and then the little thing will be really nice. So I also bought, because it's dark when I go in the other corner, you already know that, so I'm trying to get out of the dark and just... Because somebody said they like fruit balls, and I like them too. This one is onions, I don't know. Uh, this was five CDs. Oh, that might be... That's definitely not a dollar. The dollar is 13, so think about it that way. One dollar is 13 CDs, it went up a lot. So... I mean, what is that? Even a dollar, so maybe 25 cents? Dang. Maybe 50 cents the most? It's not even that. For the whole bunch. So onions, onions are locally, have a smell here that was unmatched, and they're locally grown in every way. This here is, I don't know, probably tomatoes as they say here. They don't say tomatoes, they say tomatoes. They were coming out of the British, but it's not tomatoes. I'm glad I got them out. These are avocado, and they, one of them is ready for today. Let me see which one. Yeah, I would say it's this one, so I'm going to eat it today. So I forgot to ask her how much was one. Maybe five of these for each, so I don't know. I can't remember. 
What is this? This must be, oh, that's the Nazi stuff. Okay, then we got, then we got the Atazi, Atazi, Atazi. Atazi is how you say it in Ewe, Atazi, but it's actually the peppers. It's the hot peppers, or the pepe, as they say here. And it's more than fell in here. It was hard enough to find these. Atade, Atazi, Atadi, Atazi, Atazi. I'm trying to remember y'all, I gotta get it right. Oh, the mango smells so good. They taste like candy and small ones. Then we got some rice. No, chia seeds. They sell the chia seeds at the market. The woman asked me, how do I even use them? Because she sells them, don't know. I figure there's some rich people somewhere around here because these are important and expensive and usually local small towns that I live in don't even have these. But so they were more up there than 100 CDs. And that would be $10. So I'll say all of this, this is cheap though. This is probably was $8 for the whole bag. So yeah, but it's important. So this is. It's not local, but I eat it every day. This is actually flax seeds. The store amazingly had flax seeds, and I paid for this. So I paid about, I paid less than five. I mean, it's not five. Maybe it's three, and maybe that's more like six. Yeah, this is going to be about, according to three dollars, flax seeds. And the other one's about six or two. But this was half of that. Let me show you. This is more rice. Lots of it. This rice will last forever. Manasi is this rice. It looks like white rice, but it is, and it is kind of white, but it's actually more of a beige brown. It's locally made, and that's what it's called. It's called local rice. So he likes this one. This one has too much, I don't know if it's gluten or too much starch, but it kind of bothers my stomach a bit. This is going to last us for a long time. So this is the one he has, and I'll show you mine. And then I do the brown rice, and it's also local brown rice. And again, this will last me for a long time. And I think it was 40 CDs and 35 CDs. So it's like Two or three dollars? Yeah. Two or three dollars. So, and what else did they do? Oh, yeah, I bought me some. They call it here instead of peanut butter, they call it brown nut paste. Instead of the butter, we say butter, they say paste. Instead of saying peanuts, they call it brown nuts. I bought a small one. This one's 15 CDs. I would say a dollar and 50 cents, but because of the dollar, it's less than that. It's probably like one dollar, but this is pure. Natural goes here, so it's lovely. Let me show you what's in here. Okay, now we got a whole nother bag. This one, this one, I'm good. Oh, this is the stuff that could come out. This is the cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Two cucumbers. Uh, they were five a piece. They were that is expensive for one to be five. So that is, it would be 50 cents, maybe it's like 35 cents for a piece. That's what's expensive, but yeah, nice. And then the cabbage, I don't know, I think it's seven CDs a piece. And I bought three, because this is my, I'm, I eat this all the time. I love, love cabbage. And I bought three of these, just take them out, then I put it all away. And then the third cabbage, and then I bought 10 CDs of carrots. They're a little expensive. You can see they totally local, they're not dirty, and really natural. And so I think carrots are cool. I don't know if they're going in and out. Usually you get more, so I think they're probably leaving the season and maybe starting new. Or they're just coming in season too. And then I'll come a little closer. Over. Okay, then I bought, besides the Malcolm stuff, Malcolm stuff and the mat. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes it's hard to get it off once you, once you take it out the thing. Okay, so 
And then I got water, uh, pure water is what Manasi cooks with and also what he drinks. I drink the bottled water. I gotta drink the bottled water because the other stuff, they tell foreigners not to drink it. I don't know if I'm still a foreigner, but. And then this is the market lady. I got all of these bananas. It fills almost the whole thing. I got all of these bananas. I, and this, she didn't give us even a good price for 20 CDs. So that would be 20 cents. No, that would be, I'm sorry, that would be $2. $2 for all of these bananas. And I could even get even more. And then under there is some poor, poor. Um, poor I mean, I was mad at her because he did think that this was enough at all. I can see now maybe it's not enough. It is less than, it's less than $2. It's about $1.50 for all of it. And uh, poor, poor, she had that. I think, I, I don't know, I didn't pay much for the poor, poor, which is papaya. And I'm going to put everything away. Um, I bought a few other probably little items that I'm forgetting, but I got to put all this away. So I'm going to change my clothes. You know, my house clothes, because I don't think this is really lounge here. I think this is a little extra. And I'm going to say, have a good day to y'all. Thank you for staying with me for over an hour. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, check the website, Afrocentric Home Design and Style Channel. Um, I'm sorry, the website, AfrocentricHomeDesign.com. Look for the Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday Masterclass. And look for a lot of the beautiful stuff to be on. If you are interested in the Batakari, or you listen to say the Kente dress, you can email me at afrocentrichomedesign at gmail.com. It'll all be in the description box. So email me anything you saw that you want to see. You read the Boji mats, whatever it is, you can just say the mats. Email me afrocentrichomedesign at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for holding it down. Yes, Khadija didn't hit the love button. Oh, uh, stay t 10 minutes. Also join the family. Thank you. I think you're the, so glad I was off today. Amazing as always. Thank you, Khadija. Thank you for your help. Please visit Lisa's website at AfrocentricHomeDesign.com to buy all her beautiful eyes and sign up for the intensives. Thank you, Basio. Thanks for the likes. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Basio put that website up there, AfrocentricHomeDesign.com. Amazing blessings to you. Thank you, Khadija and Kirk. Christy, hey, thank you. I'm having fun, y'all. I'm having fun, and I hope you are too. I'll see you on the next one. Love you, ladies. Peace and blessings.